we have our irrigation going in right now. Tiff, high quality, 419 grass. Um, the highest grade of Bermuda for sports that you can get. Very important to us that our athletes play on nothing but the best. So, um, you know, safety is always a big issue. But we always want to make sure we got proper drainage, proper irrigation. That way we can um, pretty much have a plan for any type of weather. This is something that you see on NFL fields and college fields alike. We're bringing that here to our youth athletics. That's the one they called you. Oh, that is right. Yes. Oh, you right. That's yes, like, it is. Man, that's her. I'm. I don't forgot. I don't talk to. Her. I, don't, I ain't never seen her. She is not on their top team. No, ain't no way. She I, must be on the team that I just saw. I thought that was like a little kid. Put them up, and T went and sat down. Dog. Nah, that's that's normal. T, you don't remember that? T. That's cool. I don't put these nets up every time. Yeah, you So, have. so. <laughs> I mean, there's no time. She ain't even no kid. I done put them up every time with everybody. You know, she don't be working, dog. Every day. That's all she do is just be talking. You know I be, what? I be trying to tell her. What I say? I said I ain't going to come here. All right, I'm no more. I'm coming here and I ain't talking to nobody. And y'all going to be like, dang, Jay, what's wrong? Got that on camera? Put that on camera, T. He never lets me put hey, the pole down. Put that on top. Melvin, do you ever let some, me put the pole down? She's definitely in there. <laughs> Why are you listening to you? Look, exit y'all are the same people. Uh, she, she made her mind up. She's going to take her town. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> Don't post that. Don't post it. Four flights, exit row? You can't beat that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this no is getting no Speeches. You know this. You don't give speeches. Cause you in there looking clueless before the game. <laughs> Not knowing what's going on, Sadia. I Come know on. what's going on. But when you want to change the stuff the day before no, the game, you change matter. everything. Have me matter. in different positions. We had a perfect game everything. plan for Danielle against Seattle the first game. Mel didn't know she was going to be pulled plan. back. She was going to be pulled back. All oh, she yeah, was going to do I didn't say that. was beat oh, up yeah, Danica the whole game. Yeah. Danielle get in there. So I'm going to block straight ahead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you go straight to <laughs> number eight. Everything. That's your guy. That's it. A receiver, never. I like and then, it. This was on the on the way back, then you was like, Mel, I had it, man. The girl just barely tipped it. She wouldn't no, she said right. if it, it she said it hit my shoulder pad, but when it hit my shoulder pad, I'd have caught it. We looked at the tape I ball buster right that. in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> for the game winner. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't I was like, somebody was holding me back, it wasn't me. Wide open, just like this. Boom, 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 boom. You played. I had me out there trying to catch after yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't even catch at all at the I end. He you. told me don't even run routes. Exactly. Don't do nothing. But then in the game, See, oh now. If she would have started. Know what, and then know what I'm doing. If she would have started for naming, you would have signed with like West Texas AM. I'm dead serious. Somebody would have signed you. <laughs> uh, you think I'm joking? T in my line. This weekend, you know, the 18s, they are headed to Denver for the Denver Crossroads National Qualifier, which is a really, really big tournament. Not just so much because it's a national qualifier, but more so because they get the opportunity to play in front of thousands of coaches. But on top of playing in front of thousands of coaches, they're playing against thousands of teams that are all over the nation. Um, with my 18s team, I think that their preparation so far has been good. I think that this tonight's practice will be kind of the icing on the cake just to kind of get them mentally prepared. I think, um, you know, them, they'll get an opportunity to scrimmage tonight against the 16s and kind of work out some kinks and, you know, kind of get themselves, I guess, in the mindset of competing. That's kind of why I like to do uh, scrimmages on the practice before. Um, I am expecting them to do great things. I'm expecting them to rise to the occasion. You know, they had an opportunity to kind of reflect on last weekend and the weekend before having a break. And I think they now understand what's expected of them. I think they know, okay, now this is a big platform and we have to, we have to put on for ourselves, for Waterview, for everybody.